Hello, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, if you would like to subscribe, there is a button below and a bell. That bell will notif is a notification of up and coming videos. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone who hits that like button. Gives back to the channel, supports the channel, and also the messages. The messages help the collective. Other people get to realize and see that you know there is a collective energy. We're all experiencing things in a different way so let's get we've got a new moon energy coming up we have the 88 lions gate coming up but let's get a message um, out for the collective for those of you who are new um, which seems to be coming in a lot we reverse roles i look at the cards as actions more than genders it's up for you to place the roles or reverse the roles we all have masculine and feminine energy and actions that we can take or be in and also um you know if something does trigger you in a reading it is for you it's not for you to attack it's for you to go and if you feel it then you really need to go and clear it, particularly if it's negative, okay? Um, yep, we've got a message. This, I, I'm gonna be honest, I have done this spread three times and it just, I don't know what's going on this morning, but the same card keeps coming out. This page of wands, reminiscing, soulmate, Queen of Wands, Hermit, the World card, and an Epiphany. We have Regret, we have an Emperor, um, Out in the Cold, In Conflict, like wanting to come forward, wanting, didn't, planning, thinking, not knowing, I don't know, something's going on here. It's been, yeah, but look, okay, what, what is this message? Because I'm clearly trying to get it. What's the message? Tell me about the Page of Swords. Yeah. Someone wants to come forward. Someone wants to give a genuine offer or an apology or just reach out and it is heartfelt. It is genuine. They are coming from their heart, okay? They see someone or something as wish fulfillment. Now, this is reminiscing past um, or a soulmate, okay? A queen of wands, someone's coming in very fast, very passionate towards a queen of wands. Queen of wands is someone who is very independent, very... Um, moving forward in their life. They're a warrior. They, they can battle their own, um, forge their own path, purpose, mission, follow through. This is an energy that's, that does what they say and, and say what they do. So if, I don't even think I got that the right way. This is a person who their word is their truth. Their word is their honor. So if they say they're going to do something, they do it. If they follow through to the end, they speak. Somebody learned something. Somebody has realized something because they're moving on. They've got all the information. This is the hermit. They're processing it or, or they're, they're, they know inwardly it's a pulling, it's a calling. The world card and divine intervention and divine timing and being divinely called and guided. Yes, yeah, someone has information. Now, this is information that they have learned, tangible information. It's not just a thought. It's not just this is an actual piece of evidence or information or clarification. This is like having it in my hand. The Ten of Swords is a, a cycle they can no longer grow in, they can no longer build, they can no longer stay in this, but it's also something they've learned about betrayal, okay? So 
they're, they're in great despair here. We've got the Emperor here, the Magician, and we've got the King of Cups over here, out in the cold, um, abandoned, uh, fighting, conflict, in and outer, I'm not sure yet. All right, so we've definitely got a masculine energy. Doesn't have to be, you can reverse the roles, but we've definitely got a masculine energy here, a King of Cups, an Emperor. So we do have a divine masculine here, but they are in despair, distraught, conflict, inner, outer, could be fighting out of uh, lack, um, disconnection, sadness, grief, suffering. Um, they are trying to manifest something. Okay, why do they need to apologize? Why do they need to message? They could be spying, as in not, not creepy, but, you know, like social media, trying to find out information, spying, um, but they, they don't know how to come forward and approach. Yeah, okay. They are releasing burden or they want to release burden or burdens. Now, this is a message of, I'll, I'll give you a couple of examples. This person is leaving a situation that has created a lot of burdens in their life. They are running away from something because um, it all, they ran away from something because it all got too much, past or present. Now, this could be new, it could be old. You'll have to place it where it fits, but someone's coming in. They definitely want to communicate. They're not sure how to communicate or they have received communication of why or they want to, ah, for some, they want to tell you or they now know or can tell you or uh, why they ran. So for some of them, it could be why they ran. They're carrying a lot of burden. They're coming in though or it's someone who's coming in and ready to uh, give, propose, connect, have a genuine conversation because they've released a burden. The sun card is illumination of everything. Wish fulfillment, blessings, um, you know, feeling really connected like with a soulmate, love, romance. They feel they can flourish. Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups is a lot of flourishing with the Sun card, like where I feel alive, inspired, growth, warmth, wish for blessings, you know, plentiful energy. Like when you have the Sun and the Nine of Cups, like it's being very blessed, very lucky, very everything flourishing. You know when you see a garden flourishing and flowers and really growing and building and being able to give. See, they want to come in passionately, this Knight of Wands to this Queen of Wands, and they want to actually collaborate. So they, this is someone definitely coming forward. They want to collaborate with you. They do see you as wish fulfillment, uh, happiness, just a blessing, just, you know, got lots to give. And, and I don't, that doesn't just have to mean material. Okay, there's something about um, with the sun, the nine of cups and the six, a lot of light. I don't know what a lot of light means to this person. Everything's been illuminated. Like it's like they're looking at, at something and it's all lit up. Like in the movies when they shine a light. Something's been spotlighted here because this person's moving fast. Lovers. Their, their secret, inner, hermit, moving on, six of swords. So all of a sudden, someone's uh, making a choice, making a dash, coming towards someone to collaborate passionately. It's either been a secret or they've been processing this or watching this or planning this for a while. Um, what is the... They've been the world card and the hierophant. Reset and in divine intervention and divine. Oh, 
definitely an ending. There's definitely information. There's an ending, Ten of Swords, and a new beginning. Like the four cards, a leap of faith. It's on a new timeline. It's in the unknown. It's going down a path you've never been on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> We certainly have someone here making a choice. That could be higher, lower paths, directions, choice, or choice of lovers, or, or connection to whatever. Um, someone's put in a lot of work, a lot of thought, or the universe is saying, we'll reset this when you do the work, or they've been preparing to do the work, or preparing this person. Now, they're definitely closing a cycle that can no longer grow or build, but also what I'm getting here for many of you, just take what applies. This feels like there is definitely an ending of a cycle of betrayal. So if you have been betrayed in the past, that's ending. If someone betrayed you, they're now coming back in they have the evidence, they have the confirmation about why they ran. They're carrying a burden. That could be guilt, that could be regret, that could be, and it, and it is actual evidence of why they did that. Um, but they want to come back in now, or if it's brand new, they're just ready to pursue a new path and they're releasing a burden. They're, they're, everything is illuminated. They know where they're going. They know what they want. There's an inner calling, an inner pulling. It's all being done by the divine, by the world card, this person or you. Yeah, look, they're coming forward. They don't know how to. They're planning, they're waiting, they're absolutely devastated. Deceit, deception, trickery, self-sabotage, the sword of truth, the king of pentacles, under the magician, and the, oh dear, the devil and the imbalance juggling card or indecision. But this king of cups is conflict out in the con, wanting to move forward, that's a yes. So... That's a new beginning, a message to a two of cups. Wow. Okay. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden itchy. Um, there's a major tower. There is a major, major tower that has gone off for someone. So someone's, their whole foundation, the divine has brought something in. Whatever this tower is, this person's released a ten of wands. They're ready to message and move forward or be genuine or speak truth, wish fulfillment, uh, blessing, sun card, collaboration. They want to come in fast and collaborate. If this was someone completely new, they are out of something, their life has come crashing down around them or a major change or epiphany. They're out. They've got their out. They know where they're heading and they are passionately moving towards you or something if you haven't met them yet, or you're about to, someone's about to come rushing into your life. That's if it's new and it looks like you did the work here. Someone here will be absolutely devastated, absolutely devastated. That's only for a few. The main message here is this. This tower was the divine. It could be a choice between a soulmate and a like a two of cups. A dip. Someone wants to move forward here beyond their current situation. They want a message. They want the new beginning. They want to text, email, communicate. Two of cups. The King of cups is out in the cold. Um, this emperor, king of pentacles, magician, the devil, two of pen, unequal, imbalanced, had it wrong. Oh, um, okay, 
We have a divine masculine here. We do have an emperor who, um, shall we say, may have abused their power as an emperor, meaning um, this is a person who is wanted by all, many, could have many or any option if they wanted it. This is, I got it, this is a person who basically can get anyone or anything that they want. They can also get away with anything or anyone they want. This is a person who is in a position they don't really care because they can just get the next hottie. They can just... That's what they were in. They're now in great despair. They were in their shadow side. They were juggling. They were indecisive. They were trying. The grass was always greener. They were always going to get more or better. They were, they, 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 you know, always seeking, always searching, always there's got to be more. There's got to be more. Turns out. The one thing they want, they put out in the cold, their two of cups, their actual equal or love or someone they would commit to, they actually put them out in the cold. It was the universe and the world card that has said to this person, you need to reevaluate. You need to look deeper into things. You need to be more committed. You need to be more focused. You need to be more um, disciplined. You need to, you're not acting like this divine masculine emperor. And because of that, they lost their true connection. Ooh. Okay, so what are they releasing now? Yeah, so... Judgment, victory. They're coming in for victory. This is a person, see, moving forward, the chariot, the lovers, inward, hiding it. They're, they're building, they're wanting to build this Ten of Pentacles. They're ready. Okay. Their new path, they're closing out a cycle, a deceit, a deception, a betrayal, um, whatever, or being that, or being deceptive, okay? Heart, star, alignment on the new path. They're, they want the new path. Why are they in moon? This person, this emperor, I, I don't, this doesn't make sense to me. The math ain't mathin'. The emperor ain't emperorin'. The, the, I know you can't say that, but something's just so not, because now we've got deceit, deception, trickery, getting away, trying to come forward, the very, is this a person who, judgment they're being judged they've made a judgment they want to move forward to this four of wands that's commitment relationship building a foundation i think this person you're passionate new beginning ten of cups night yeah okay this person's looking for a ten of cups ten of pentacles sorry Eight of Pentacles. This person wants a reset. They want to do the work. Oh, how can I not see that? So they they want to come to a two of cups, the nine of pentacles, right? Someone independent, self-sufficient, very, very set up, very already, already got it, already been there, already set up, already okay, got it. This person has now realized.
this happiness, this security, stability, foundation, this ten of pentacles they seek to build. It has to come with someone who is at that level, has that, can do that. This person believed they would could have that with anyone or anything. So they may have been a little in their ego, believing, well, I'm just an emperor. I will have a Ten of Pentacles and I will have what I want anyway. And I'll just choose anything off the shelf to come in and be that with me. Turns out that's not the case. If you want to build a Ten of Pentacles, you actually need a Nine of Pentacles. That is someone who knows how to do and build something from the ground up. They've had experience. They've got their own um, wealth, security, stability, foundation, business, life, independence. Uh, they could handle you and, and the business and do their own stuff. So they, they, they actually have realized I need a highly capable person. I actually need someone who's wiser, if not wiser than me. So if I'm going to be this big emperor, I actually need someone who is equally matched with me, who can hold me up. You often hear that saying, and I better be careful here, you know, behind every successful man is a very successful woman. And vice versa, man, man, woman, woman. You, you place it where it fits. You, know, you get what I'm trying to say here. It's who you've got behind you. That was just an old saying. It's who you've got behind you as to the Ten of Pentacles. Because this is a lifetime where you can grow and build. It's not, oh, this will be good for five years and then I'll outgrow them and then I'll marry someone else and then I'll go down another path and that won't fulfill me and that won't fulfill me. and that. This is someone who will challenge you to be the best you. This is someone who is your equal. This is someone who, who will challenge you, but in a healthy way, in an equal way, will have your back, can do take over where you can't do and vice versa. This, this divine masculine, and when I say divine, he hasn't been so divine, but he does want to be that or do that or can be that. This person definitely has the potential to do and be a Ten of Pentacles. But what they had to learn was you can't just have that with anyone. Yeah. Yep, you need to, they had to learn this. They see wounded warrior. This person went and tried everyone and everything. This person tried to find you or a ten of cups, to nine of pentacles. In they just thought if it's old and they're coming back, they've realized they've made a judgment, they've learned something. You cannot what they're seeking. They really thought, what do they say? They could find you or, or a you in anybody. They just thought this person really thought they were the, the, the king, the, the emperor, the ten of pentacles. And they just thought anyone they got, they could groom that way to be their match. Like just dress them, get them to act. And a lot of people come in to play that with this person. But this person has realized it's, it's very hard to find or match. So what are they, yeah, that was their tower. Releasing a burn. So this person, <laughs> They want to come to someone of the past or it's a soulmate or a wish fulfillment. It's all been illuminated. But this person is, is very guarded and, and healing. 
This person, this, this somebody, they want to come forward and give to this Queen of Wands now passionately. They believe coming forward to you is the temperance, is the balance, is the future. But they're now in regret because they did not see it. So this is a person who gets themselves entrapped. You know, all that glitters isn't gold. They... Yeah, they're ready for the journey to fill that empty cup. Ten of Swords, Star Card, Taking a Leap of Faith. Someone's ready. They've realised the cup that's missing in their life is... Death, rebirth, transformation, passion, new beginning, going forward. This person's had a had been um, had an epiphany, an awakening, a transformation, illusion, delusion, the moon card, the death card on that. So there is, yeah, they are distraught. They are in a nine of swords because their ten of cups and their foundation. There's been a judgment. Put a judgment twice out here. This, this emperor was very, um, has been held in judgment. They thought they were such a magician. They were in their shadow, toxic, egoic side, imbalance, unequal give and take. They've realized this now to where they should build and the fated wheel of change. The fates are changing. They're getting the messages. They're coming towards someone who is very independent, self-sufficient, set up. They do want to be entrepreneurial. They want to move towards someone that is a nine of pentacles. So they're actually only an eight of pentacles. They're an eight of pentacles. You're a nine of pentacles. Or they need, you know, that's what they need. And... They've made that judgment. So they that's how they see they're eight, you're the nine, and that's how they get the ten. This person's worked it out. They're reevaluating everything in their life, what they've built, what they've grown, what they've given to. Tell me about this death card standing up, coming the hanged man. They didn't see it the right way. This King of Cups is moving towards their Queen of Cups, their divine spiritual connection, love, connection. I just feel, I really do, there's <laughs> third parties, choices. Yep. This is a person who did not see clearly the path. Empress and justice. They didn't see the path, the commitment. They didn't make the commitment to the empress. The Empress is that on the Justice card. This Empress is in their alignment, their spiritual contract. I'm also hearing the, the true divine partner, the one, um, what do you call, truly in their position. Yeah, this person, oh, wow. Yeah, King of Wands, Page of Wands, giving offers. This person, oh, my gosh. Oh, naughty, naughty. We've got like Don Juan on steroids here. Um, heartbreak, giving unreal offers that just are, are not true. Bread crumbing, coming in and out, charming everyone and anything. Heartbreaking, nothing ever goes. So many options, giving all these offers and... and You've been naughty. You've been naughty. See, they've got to put that past behind them. Um, and <laughs> if you want to be a king of pentacles, you need a queen of pentacles. You need a high priestess. If you want to want to step into divinity and alignment and higher divine alignment and your, your spiritual connection and love and a nine of pentacles and a ten of pentacles and you're an eight of pentacles, you need someone who's already in their divine alignment, high mission. It's like this. This person thought they were an emperor and they were going to have the ten of pentacles. That's what they truly, truly believed. 
They thought they could go out there and have pick anyone or anything off the shelf. They've always been able to do that. They still can do that to the day they pass, right? But that's not how you be a divine masculine. It's not how you get a ten of pentacles. You can't just pick whoever. A Ten of Pentacles is someone that you are very contracted to on a higher path. It's like there is only one that fits the spot. There's only one that fits that connection for you to have a Ten of Pentacles and be an emperor. It has to be an empress who's actually got that title. This person believes... And see, they, they really, really couldn't see it. They really couldn't see it. This emperor thought whoever they were with would become an empress. A ten of pentacles, nine ten of pentacles, eight, nine ten of pentacles. Build and grow a lifetime. You can't just... You, they saw it the wrong way. They saw everything the wrong way and they are devastated. They've realized what they've done. There's been a judgment, imbalance, devilish toxic. And I do feel there is some karma in this. And this is why they've got so much conflict moving forward. They're waiting for these fates. They want to come towards their divine counterpart. And message but they're actually out in the cold getting karma because this person has done this to a lot of people this could be a person that really really thought they met every connection they met every um, woman or man either way vice versa woman woman man man it doesn't matter gender I'll just use that as a thing Everyone they came into contact with or promised or tried or but it's like they tried to replace you or they just thought I just feel they've done it to a lot of people because they act yeah and they've hurt a lot of people with this in out charming behavior this is a very charismatic very charming very love bombing very in very uh sweep you off your feet you know come in and you're their world and you're their everything and you're their nine of pentacles and you're they're the emperor and they're gonna make you this person that can stand beside them but they they, they haven't. They need someone with like anointing. They need someone who has been actually truly has this balance contract as an empress. Big lesson. Yeah, and they're in despair because they've, they've really, really now really wanting this king and queen of cups, this two of cups, fate and change. They are out in the cold. They don't know if they can get it now. Now, what... Okay. So this person, is, and, and wherever they're going or, or wanting to go or be, they... Hmm. Third parties, King of Wands. Ooh, didn't see this. Okay, this person now has death and rebirth coming in fast, walking away from people. So whatever's happened here, this emperor or divine masculine, male or female energy, they have realized. It, is, it feels like masculine to me, but hey, they've got a lot of parties. They are always looking for the greener grass. They really are. They, 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 mm. I can't make 
make it up. They were in their devilish ways. Toxic ways. Looking at these lovely ladies, men's, man ladies, whatever. <laughs> men's, women's. Um, faded will of change. Yes, on the death and rebirth, who they're giving to, walking away, releasing a burden. Yeah, yeah, okay, I, I'll give it. I'll give it to this person, uh, this King of Wands. Although he was, or is, or he, she was in their devilish ways, um, toxic, codependent. Um, just, just basically, yeah. There's been a massive judgment. Massive judgment, hierophant judge, judgment, epiphany, evidence. Wow, what's the evidence? That they need to, there, there's an empty cup, yeah. So, yep, sort of truth on these third parties. This person is now very inward. They've gone inward. They are trying to or detaching from third parties. To be honest, this could be a person who had a sex addiction or just very open and free and there's a faded wheel of change. They've got their confidence. They didn't see something. They're moving forward. It's a yes. They're transforming. Somebody has, de and they're coming forward with an apology and releasing this burden and they're walking away from everyone. Someone has learned a, a something. Okay, we'll give it to him or her. This person has learnt you cannot just get a ten of pentacles. This person was under some delusion, illusion. They were a heartbreaker. They were a seeker of greener grass consistently. They wanted multiple options, multiple opportunities. They believe there's multiple opportunities out there in life. And there are, we there are, but some people cannot be replaced. You can't just pick anyone off the shelf and go, oh, you'll be your ten of pentacles because you're with me. Um, it doesn't work like that. They, they've realized that temperance, balance, see. That's why they couldn't move forward. This person, unfortunately, yeah, ten of they've closed out a cycle and the justice card. They need to heal because I think this person's been big time, like really humbled. Really humbled. Yeah, incoming. They're devastated. Nine of Swords. Why are they really humbled? They want to go on this new path now. They want to feel the... Why do they feel silly? Yet yeah, I'm silly. I got the full card. They want to go on the new path. See, they want to fill this empty cup. But there's a massive judgment on them. They've had an epiphany. Something came out of the blue. They're planning how to move forward. They've reevaluated everything. Now someone's guarded. Someone's got their guard up. To, the, to player ways or spontaneous or lover. Mm. They want to come in and be a king of pentacles. They, they want to come out of this unequal give and take. They had it wrong. They had it imbalanced. They saw it the wrong way. This is also, yeah, see, they're coming towards the two of cups. And they're, they're, so they're looking in the distance. They're looking on the horizon. Now, that confirms both ways what we're saying. This person really thought they were above the laws of the universe. The, the, I don't know. I just, there's something about this person's, um, oh, arrogance, ignorance in, I can have what I want, uh, like a self-inflated ego. They did have a self-inflated ego. And what I mean by that is 
This is the person who can get anyone and anything. This is a person who gets away with all their lies, deceit, deception, trickery, um, uh, heartbreaking girls. You know, this is a person who can heartbreak girls, men, women, whoever, um, and get away with it. Like, yeah, I, 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 like, it's like this person, they are very gifted. I'll give them that. They're very charming. They're very gifted. They come in, they are, have got this king of pentacles. It's someone who, who presents all of everything. A stable, solid, caring, loving, like they can play any role. So that's why they're an emperor. They can be spiritual connection and in love they can be a provider they can be uh, a, a king of wands a king of swords a king of cups a king of pentacles they can basically play any role they want to right they can um with anyone and in that they thought they really did think like they were it and whoever was with them, they would become it. And I think they're very good at making people think that. Uh, it, it's got that energy where, you know, everyone thinks, well, if I'm with him, I'll be the empress. If I'm with him, I'll be a high priestess. If I'm with him uh, or her or her, I'll be this. I'll be that. I'll sit in that position. And so they actually did attract that in. They attracted because they think that and project that here it is for them. Here's a message for whoever. Because they projected this and do believe this up until now, Spirit said, they attracted people who actually were, yes, came in and played the facade, played the role, acted, but it was acting. It was acting. It was fake. It was finesse. It was facade. It wasn't real. And this person's, this, let's say, emperor's learning this, like, wow, I can't just pull anyone in and you be the true empress or my true vibrational match. They really thought they could, they could position someone in that and they would become that. But you need the qualities, you need the wisdom, you need the experience, you need the anointing, you need the you need to be a nine of pentacles before you can be a true empress high priestess. You have to be very uh, mastered, masterful in your divinity, in your alignment. This person thought and so they attracted people who were very happy to sit in a throne, sit in a position without any skill, any wisdom, any knowledge, any anointing, any protection, any, um, any, that's why nothing was growing in this person's world. And that's where they got humbled. That's where spirit has sat them down and they are reevaluating and realizing what the missing cup was, what the missing issue was. It didn't matter how gorgeous, how charming, how sexual, how seductive, how, how big, tall, short, beautiful, rich, poor, this, that, up, down. It didn't matter who they chose. None of them had the qualities that they actually needed to become the true emperor and um, being a ten of pentacles. Yeah, and they gambled. They realised they gambled. That some of them know who who that person was, or they now want to head towards it, or whatever. I don't know how this fits. New, old, but. Now they want to come to for, toward this, but they created all this. They, it's nearly like they gambled it. 
They gambled you. They gambled the high. The, it's like when you, an example would be meeting your empress and treating them like a karmic and, and picking any karmic and treating them as if they can be an empress or be in the empress position because they're with you. So they attracted a lot of people that are happy to sit in that position, happy to go on the ride without any skill, any work, any knowledge, any spiritual uh, karma in that, good karma, good rewards, blessing. So they were happy. They attracted these people who could fake, mimic, catfish, play a facade, play a role, play, act out. It's, uh, it's all fake. Um, and these are people who are happy to ride on the coattails of others. They're happy to take the reward without the work. They're happy for um, the status, the 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 um, position, the the uh, what do you call it? The ranking, the Live off the means of others at at others' expense. So they, you know, anyone that's willing to take the position or fake a position or facade a position, a position or think they'll be put in a position where they will just automatically become the queen and live this very luxurious or lifestyle meaning being given to without having to do the work. A true empress, an emperor has done the work. So this emperor thought he was just a king of penny, uh, an emperor, ten of pentacles, and he thought whoever was with him would then equal his energy, would equal his blessing, anointing, uh, and he just could script that in and sit you in that chair with absolutely no divine right, no divine work, no mastery, no gifts, no talent, no anointing in that mission, in that contract, in that karma, in that, and just make it happen. Yeah, justice lovers, ten of swords, past life issue. Out now, out in the cold, everything's illuminated. The sun card, wish fulfillment, heartbreak, star card, message. Yeah, wow. Yeah, this is what they did. This is where they. God, I'm so confused in this reading this morning, honestly. Yep, the Empress. A message coming, Empress, a text, an email, a message. Some, um, you're, you were the one that put in the work. Yeah, heartbreak on the Empress. The Empress is moved, wounded warrior, had to move forward. Had, moon, illusion, delusion. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Someone knows all the tools, skills, knowledge. Moving on, choices, directions, they're planning to come to their two of cups. Justice on the Empress. Oh, my God. We had justice on the Empress over here. The same two cards. Where were they? I pulled them out before. Justice on the Empress. So the true empress, uh, please step forward. And um, so what I'm getting here is that justice is, yeah, the sword of truth. So spirits put this person, justice, recognition on the true empress. It's okay. I feel like this empress possibly in the past or would be or has been or is going to be when that... This empress probably was quite insulted. 
because the universe is insulted. Imagine and justice, see justice, who is the true empress, who has the true ruling, who has done the work, who actually owns the contract. So that's the sort of truth, yes. Okay, that's why this person's now investigating further and that empty cup. The universe is really protecting this empress and she had to really protect and defend herself. It's like, imagine doing all the work. Yeah, I can't make it on, can make it up, make it on, make it up. Moving forward and also having the, all the knowledge and that star card blessing. Choices, celebration, see, ending a cycle. I know two things. This person wants to come forward and end out this cycle of betrayal and actually um, where they are, they can't build. They want their tent to a cups. This person's ready. We get it. We get that they're ready to move forward to their higher purpose, to the true empress, to the justice, to the true, emper true empress. The one who actually deserves it. The one who actually is because they had to learn what we talked about. Right, we get that. They keep trying to overpower this reading. That's why they're like, I'm on the path. Just tell them I'm on the path. I'm missing cup. I'm planning to come forward. Yes, I did hurt you. Yes, I did throw you out. Yes, I thought I could replace you. Yes, I treated you as an option. Yes, I ghosted you. Yes, I told a heap of lies or I had options or choices or looked at every other cup there was out there, betrayed you. Yes, I did say that you were not the real empress and I could replace you and you were replaceable and all of the above. Yes, I did think that I'm the emperor and I can just make anyone an empress and that's how you get a Ten of Pentacles and that's how you get in your higher timeline. All right. But here's the thing, and this is, I'm not sure of the outcome, temperance, see, balance, king of pentacles, the emperor, the sun card now on the, queen, on the queen of cups, who's the empress, the yes card, the path. Now, death, rebirth, transformation, because here's the judgment. That is a bit hard to move forward from. This is where the regret is with the tower. This is where the burden is with this fated wheel and moving forward to their ten of cups, which they put out in the cold and now divine intervention and a reset, right, of collaboration. This king of wands, he's trying to manifest it. He wants to give. He Look, he was in devilish ways, thinking he could have the Ten of Pentacles with the High Priestess, the High... Yeah, it's all come out. What's come out, what was hidden was this, and we've clarified it. Re-evaluation, passionate ways, lovers, they want to take a new path, but there's they're not sure. There could be rejection. So, but here's what I want to say. So they're worried now if they move forward, there's rejection because of everything we've talked about. And they don't like rejection because they are the emperor and they can have anyone or anything and they can get away with things. They can play everyone, heartbreak everyone and still have those uh, chicks or women or men still calling them, wanting them to hang out with them. So this is a person who is so up in their ego but they put the real empress out in the cold or rejected or abandoned or didn't acknowledge them they treated a true empress like a karmic like they were replaceable they're on their own journey they've realized on their own spiritual journey that's not the case but here's the flip side of this Imagine being a true empress. And when I mean a true empress, I don't mean uh, empress can represent pregnancy or birthing something. Now, there's different levels in everything, in high priestess, in empress, in emperor. There is There are different levels. When you get the empress with the justice card, let me say this 100% and every single, here it is again, every single reader will tell you that. We got this twice. 
the Empress with the Justice card in two decks. Imagine doing all the work, all the hard work. That's why she's the Knight of Pentacles, he, she. Imagine going through every trial, every tribulation, every spiritual judgment, every spiritual um, anointing level, broken down, built, um, every rejection, every bad. You basically did everything to get this position. You don't just get this position. There's past life, there's present life. It, it's not just given to anyone or anyone. You, you have to have wisdom, mastery. You have to have blessing, anointing with the divine. This is someone in their divine truth, in their divine order. Imagine being treated as if you weren't. You could be replaced. You... It's like it's like anything. Like the only way I can put it is energy. Pretend you're the winner of a race or or something in like sport or something, and you're the winner, and everyone turns and acknowledges everybody else. And you did all the training, all the work, all the trials, tribulations. You followed the spirit. You 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 put the effort. You you are the true receiver of that acknowledgement or or position or status or whatever. Can you imagine sitting in that? Because Spirit said this is the most important part of the reading. We're going to have a little look at this for a second. It's pretty... soul-destroying, heartbreaking, disappointing... Um, it's like if you're at work and you just worked for years on a project and it was your project, it was your idea, and you just put your heart and soul, you sacrificed, you, you did all the work, right? And you present this or you're doing your work and every accolade, every acknowledgement, every reward, everything that you present and did or built all on your own is looked at as replaceable, not acknowledged. I, I, I'm a bit speechless, like it's a bit... It's, it's it, the, the empress would feel disgraced. Like it's, it's. There's something here. It's just, a, it's like a, whoa, like a dead energy because it's like, Really, you you thought? Why does that not come on? Yeah, this empress had no choice. Oh wow! To go up north node, the full reset. Uh, this empress has no choice but to go on another spiritual path, tower, up in our head, conflict. Oh boy, faded wheel of change, wish fulfillment. So this Empress does is the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment on, on the North Node. 
This night, this this empress energy, male or female, whatever, whoever's he's got this empress justice status contract. The fate of will of changes. You're going on that that you had no choice but be fated on a path, a new path, wish fulfillment. Uh, the sun card, putting the past behind you and defending yourself. You're the wounded warrior as well. Um, the tower, absolute despair. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so what's happened here is the towers, the universe, absolute despair, inward, the hermit, and pretty. This empress was just left in utter. And see, you were the person, the position. Somebody was talked or thought this person was not who, like, it's lo losing your rightful position. It's, it's, I did all the work and I was supposed to receive this or sit here or, or be placed here or, and I didn't, I, it, Yeah, clear. Look, the Empress up in her head, Hermit. Oh, the Moon card conflict. Yeah, it was all illusion, delusion on the. See, the Empress was the Nine of Pentacles. Is the Nine of Pentacles? Is the Two of Cups? All heart alignment in their truth. Yeah, okay. Moved on. The Sword of Truth. The Queen of Wands. Temperance. Apology. Yeah, okay. I know there's that masculine energy or an energy, any energy, King of Wands, trying to come in and, and communicate, yeah, that they now know and they've put out in the cold a message and heartbreak and they now know what they've done and they now know see it and they now know see you and you're the Ten of Cups and they didn't see it and they need to make a choice and... Close out a cycle of betrayal and they did betray you. And look, look, I can't make it up. They really did. They sabotage. They're freaking out. All of the above. They, they were off in their illusions, delusions, believing they could have anyone, anything. We get it, right? They they are coming in. They, they, they are going to say this. They are going to, but there's a problem. We have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. we have a problem because the tower the the okay the empress what okay what this this emperor or masculine has now realized or let's say the other divine counterpart because i don't want to do the male for male thing. this this emperor let's say has now realized all this and thinks with that confidence. Oh yeah, hey, I gambled you. I gambled, I rolled the dice on an empress. If you're there down the track, you're there down the track. But I really did try to replace you. And I really did think I could replace you. So although I knew you were the true, authentic, real, original, uh, contracted person, I really did try and um, de-throne you, demoralize you, uh, all your work, all your... Um, Like okay, I all right, I know you were the you were the real deal. I know you were the but I didn't want that, so I binned you, remember? I just decided, I decided as the emperor that I will just bin you and and I'll just replace you. And anyone with me will be you, the Empress, the, the this authentic em Empress. They learned that's not the case. But I don't know. 
if this empress can actually recover from this. This empress, uh, you didn't just disgrace them, uh, dispose of them, discard them, dismiss them, not even treat, even if you didn't want them or, or whatever, you didn't treat it with any respect, knowing that, any integrity. You didn't, you, did, you treated them like trash and they were royalty, so to speak. Not that I like that, but you get what I mean. Just, just to show you what I'm talking about. Like they really did want to, thought they could, yeah. And they did, they, they pretty much did. Like you're just independent, nine of pentacles, self-sufficient, heart alignment, self-loving, um, on your path still. Um, but see this five of swords and this moon and this new beginning. The Empress is sitting here, but I don't know. I, I don't think she can, yeah, see hermit, hermit up in her head. Okay. Reevaluation. The universe is trying to get this Empress to reevaluate the situation. I knew there was something bigger going on here, guys. I knew this reading this morning. See, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. This Empress is just doing her work. Oh, Nine of, Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Sun card, the Tower, the Moving On, the Divining. Mm, you are the Nine of Pentacles. Look, there and there. This person wants to come forward. Here's the problem. It, it, it's, it's a fact. I, I, I've got the clarification. This empress is... Um, what's the right word? I just want to use the right word. I don't know if they can recover from this. I think they've decided to live their life out alone or just on the path themselves. I mean, they're, they're the nine of pentacles. They will get everything like fated, the spiritual journey. You're in the divine alignment. You'll get just to see you the nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles, uh, cups, sorry, uh, nine of pentacles, nine of cups, nine, 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 nine. nine. You know, um, this is happening. You are, you're on the path. You are, you take the sun card success over all. You know, it, it is, you will be, you will be rightfully seen, given the position by the divine, right? Despite what this person did to, to, you or this empress um they've really they've realized now but i i don't know i i just don't think an empress can come i don't think this empress can come back from this i i i don't think they can uh this is like um see that you're the star you are the star empress you're the blessing you're the wish fulfillment, you manifest, you bring blessing into everyone's life, your path is blessed, um, you are this magician energy, you're bringing in your blessings, you are like moving forward chariot, you're okay, you are the high priestess, you are in a high position, you are in the, it's written, you are what you say you are, You who you are, you were the rightful person to this emperor, you were their divine counterpart, it's all pre-written destiny. So somebody really tried to defame you, uh, take everything from you, your destiny, your position, your anointing, your life's work, your mission, your, your everything. They really did. And they can't take it. They could never take it. Sorry, spirits said cancel that. They could never take it. They just thought they could really put you out to pasture 
and never look at you again and treat you like a karmic and then just pick a new one and, and replace them with you. In, in divine contracts, go figure that one. Yep. Empty cup. Yeah. You, they, so they're experiencing now what you had to go through. That one cup for this empress that was missing, that was that emperor, look. They had no choice but to walk away. Eight of cups, eight of cups, faded work, wheel of change. Wow. Incoming, the devil blocked. The moon card, the swords. So they want to explain um, they, choices, options. They didn't see you. Um, Emperor, justice. He wants justice for his queen of cups now, which is you, the king of wands. He wants to come forward, the lovers. Yeah, he, he, he did go off and marry or choose or be with other people. See, again, faded nine of pentacles again. <gasps> he wants to release the bird and make the offer and make you two a ten of pentacles. Put you or give you your rightful passage, position, uh, recognition, acknowledgement. I don't know. I, I don't know. Because, mm, oh boy, I did not expect this to go this way. Can this Empress get over this move coming forward? Divine counterpart of apology, the sun card. Ten of Swords, Heartbreak, Clarity on the Heartbreak, the Moon card. I do think this Emperor's uh, probably now experiencing what he did to the Empress um, and realising now what's really happened. Oh, this Empress is... Yeah, the, the, this King of Wands is really freaking out, guys divine intervention up in their head because they want to go on the path the divine intervention with the moon they've got their focus on this queen of cups i don't know see she's yeah she's so this high priestess empress is always under attack um unfortunately what's happened here is we have an empress that cannot trust anyone or anything coming in i would say this has been this isn't just heartbreak this is an oh you broke my heart um you had other choices, options, um, thought people were better than me, blah, blah, blah. But no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about someone who, whose divine counterpart or someone who is in their true, authentic, worked hard has done everything, given everything, sacrificed, worked hard, has spiritual anointing, like position. I don't know how else to say it. I am being completely disregarded. The only way I can say it is this. It would be the feeling of meeting your divine counterpart that you both wrote, you both put together, the universe put together. You are the genuine, authentic, original one package, this person situation, right? And the person getting it, going, no, thanks. No. All these fakes, Facades, uh, better, glitterier, um, 
irreplaceable. It's like thinking you can, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. And I can wrap this up because this has been a long one. So the emperor, so it's like someone giving you the original collect, you know, when you have collector's items like the original car or the original egg or the original whatever. Like here is the first ever, this is it, this is the, the and you just treated it like it was like every other car or egg or this or that. Hmm. It's like being handed the trophy or the uh, contract or the whatever and getting absolutely no acknowledgement, no recognition, not wanted, disregarded, not acknowledged and actually rejected and abandoned for something that is the complete facade, fake, fraud and that being a better choice than the original. Yeah, I don't think someone can come back from that. Well, it's showing, sorry, that this empress, who is the true queen of it, was not seen the right way. I, I, I don't know. With the hangman, I don't know if this person can come out of this. Um, yeah, I knew it. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think the damage is... It might be irreparable. I do have a saying that somebody can be just rejected too much or abandoned or not seen or broken or betrayed or there is, yeah... particularly when they have done the work or did present whatever or did, I don't know, they, you see fates, they, they really did. Um, this person's definitely on their mission, they're staying on their mission, they're staying on their purpose. I think they've just decided they'll be alone or have to do it alone or be alone on their journey and mission. Um, and I think now, that, yeah, see, this Empress High Priestess um, knows their power, gifts, talents, whatever, journey, mission. I'm really stumped on this one, guys. Yeah, I, I don't. I think they're going to see any, any, any person coming into their life as the devil. It feels to me that this empress may have like PTSD, complex PTSD now. Um, yeah, that's the feeling. I'm not going to go there, and I'm going to do a different pull. I'm going to I'm going to do a different reading because I'm going to go on because this Empress is. Um, I'm very yeah. We need to look into the Empress. The Emperor. I mean, you know, you go pull another cup off the shelf. I suppose. I, I assume there will be another match out there um, not that you could find one you couldn't find this empress in anyone and you never will you may match or nearly match or, or come to something that's close but you'll never actually have that actual cup 
um, it's this particular an empress uh, contract. It's not the empress, it's the contract. Um, I don't know what's going to happen there. I feel a bit weird, to be honest, um, because I know this emperor's having all this realisation and with all their life and third parties and how they thought and could gamble and roll the dice and get away with everyone and everything, but I don't think they can get away with this with the universe. Uh, I, I don't think this one's one they can actually control, mishandle, handle, juggle, decide, come back, have on board, have have connection with whether they're with them or not. I like, uh, just they, they, their whole their whole way of thinking's been humbled or will be. But the damage to this other person, we're gonna look into that. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. And we're going to look into that because that's got me very, um, yeah, there's something going on there. Okay, take care, guys.